Hi you guys. So today is August 12th and I leave tomorrow to go to school. Um, tomorrow my mom and I are driving all day and then sleeping somewhere at night and then we're driving on the 14th and I'll get there that day around noon hopefully. This is everything that I have packed so far. This is everything that I have packed so far um but i have so much stuff that i literally left in florida i left like a, most of my kitchen stuff in the sg office over the summer um my friend and roommate audrey she literally has my mattress topper and all my bedding so i don't even know if everything would fit in my car if i had all those things with me but luckily I don't. I don't know how I'm going to take it all back at the end of the year. Because this is my last year. But yeah. Basically have everything packed. Um, except for a couple little things here and there. And my room is such a big mess. But yeah. I'm very excited for tomorrow. But also kind of sad. Because today's, today's the last day. And today's also my mom's birthday. So I don't want to make it all about packing. Um, I definitely just want to have fun with her. And spend time with my family. So yeah, hopefully we get time to do that, but I'll update you guys, honestly, maybe tomorrow morning um, when it's time to leave, and I think we're going to try to leave at 6 a.m. Last year, I think we left at like 7.30 because it was my mom, my dad, and me, and then we said bye to my brother because he went off to school on the school bus and we left right after, but this year my dad's not coming, so we can leave earlier. So it is currently 6.10 and everything is in my car and I am ready to leave. My room looks so blank. I usually have my mirror right here, but I'm actually bringing it this year because I forgot it last year. Um, so yeah, we're about to leave and I'm about to say my goodbyes, but yeah. Here's my mirror that I packed. I have a couple like big boxes up front, two suitcases, and just a lot. So I am driving first and before making it out of the neighborhood, we realized we forgot our passports. Um, and my mom's flying back home and she could just obviously fly with her ID, but we thought we should just have our passports to be safe. So my dad is just bringing him here with his car and we're just waiting okay hi you guys that's my mom back there we are currently in effingham illinois we i just drove for three hours we're gonna get gas because we were literally at 15. um we're gonna go inside the pilot and there's also a mcdonald's here we have to get breakfast somewhere also get some like just some snacks and also i need like cough drops or something my throat is so dry and um after all that we're going to switch and my mom's gonna drive for three hours and yeah that's basically all i have to say we're gonna try to drive um like 12 13 hours today just honestly as much as possible so we can drive less tomorrow but i'll update you guys next time we stop Hello you guys, I am currently driving, we are in Tennessee, and we are so close to the border of Georgia, but we are stuck in this traffic jam that we've been in for 15 minutes and probably will be in for another 15 because there was an accident right by the border, so hopefully in 15 minutes we'll be out of traffic and we'll be in Georgia. driving my mom is now driving and it is eight o'clock and we're gonna drive two and a half more hours um and then find a hotel for the night and we'll be somewhere in georgia we'll be past atlanta so yes that's how it's going we made it further last year than we have this year but it's okay we'll just wake up early tomorrow 
guys, we are about to leave our Super 8. It's almost 7 in the morning. We wanted to leave earlier, but we had trouble waking up. We were very tired, and I washed my hair this morning. Um, my mom's just dropping off the keys, and then we're gonna head out. We have five and a half more hours, but we might need to stop at some auto shop because my check engine light came on. So, I don't know, we're gonna have to do that. But yeah, it's supposed to be rainy in St. Pete today, tomorrow, and just like for the next week. So that kind of sucks because I definitely wanted to show my mom around. I still will be able to, but hopefully the rain isn't too bad. Definitely won't be able to go to the beach like I wanted to, but that's okay. So I'll update you guys um, sometime on the road, maybe when we get there, maybe when we're at the auto shop. We'll see. You guys, my mood is so uplifted right now because we've entered the beautiful state of Florida. I feel like whenever I get here, I'm instantly so happy. Um, but yeah, we are at a welcome center. We just took pictures in front of this sign somewhere. Um, and we have like, I don't know, four hours to go. Um, and I think we're going to directly to campus. Um, and yeah. I'm so excited. All right, so we just made it into St. Pete. We're going to go to an auto zone right away because my check engine light is on. And after that, hopefully if it's not anything serious, we'll just be able to get to campus and start unpacking everything. I have some stuff in the student government office that I need to get out. So someone should be there at like 1.45 to unlock the doors for me and then we're gonna go get food somewhere soon because we have not eaten lunch either and we had like a very small breakfast at 7 a.m. But I'll probably update you guys when we get inside the door. Hey guys, so we are currently at Ford's garage. My mom and I are about to grab a bite to eat because this is gonna be our very late lunch. And then we're gonna go to the dorm and see it and start unpacking everything. I'm very excited. All right y'all, so I'm back on campus. Currently in the back of the SG office waiting for someone to open the door so I can go grab some stuff inside. Um, this is my building right here and this is the door to the back of the student government office. We are in RHO. It looks, there's like nothing on the walls but here are the things I left in the SG office. We're about to bring them up to my room and then we still have to unpack the whole entire car. It's so good to be back. I think they painted the walls. I swear they were a different color. Currently trying to get stuff out of the car. It's kind of heavy though. There's so much stuff. All right, so we officially have everything in the dorm and I got my key so I can actually unlock my dorm today instead of tomorrow. So I'm about to do that and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is my dorm. I'm room number D. Desk, closet, door. I also have this weird fire alarm thing that I didn't have in my room last year and the paint is kind of splotched, but I'll definitely cover that up. But besides that, I'm gonna move my bed to be this way. My desk is gonna go over here and this may or may not stay in the closet, but I will update you guys as I keep going. Here's a little update. My mirror is in, my desk is in place bed is in place probably going to get it lowered tomorrow dresser and closet we are probably going to go out now we're going to go walk around downtown st p and maybe we'll do some more tonight if not tomorrow so it is the end of day one of moving um, me and my mom said to end the night by taking a walk on the pier and this is me showing her the pier for the first time. 
and maybe we'll get some Killwins ice cream afterwards. And then just head back and relax because we haven't had a lot of sleep this weekend. But yeah, the pier is very beautiful at night. Good morning, everyone. Today is August 15th. It is my technically official move-in date, but I was able to get my keys yesterday. Um, I am currently walking to parking services because I need to bring print out my parking pass and park my ga my car in the garage because it's currently at the metered parking which is gonna get activated in like 30 minutes so I want to do that before that happens um yeah we I woke up this morning at like 7 40 and up until like 8 30 I was just organizing some stuff and I'm packing stuff with my mom and we're gonna do the same when I get back for a little bit and then I want to take her around downtown some more. Um, hopefully it doesn't start raining, but yeah, we'll see how that end up, ends up going. But I'll show you guys some of the campus. Update on my room what it looks like so far mirror the desk is a mess the bed is going to be moved down closet and dresser are filling up hey guys so we are at the pier right now we got some lemonade and we ordered some pizza my mom has like a couple hours left until she leaves, so we're just hanging out. The dorm is pretty much ready, so I'll show you guys later. But yeah, do you wanna be in the video now? You don't have to. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> well, that's it. Hey you guys, so today is the 18th. I moved in, okay, that's like makeup. Okay, I moved in on the 14th, but my room is practically done, so I really wanna give you guys like a quick room tour um, before, and just like, you know, upload this video. Okay, let's get started. First, you have my door. Maybe I should put in 0.5, there we go. Here's my door. I like still have some random stuff out there. You come, I have this little thing. Basket with a USF blanket. I have my mirror with my Sarasota bucket hat. And I hung my keys right on the side of my desk. And then this is my desk area. So on top of my desk, I just, this little decoration. What is this called? jewelry hanger thing. I have my tags for my jobs. Oh my gosh, I'm losing. I'm at a loss for words right now, clearly. Um, this random stuff. This is a wall decor, wall decor part two, but I still have to put some stuff on here. Um, down there, I just have storage. My backpack, my plants, my crystals, and a bunch of shells. This is my view this year. You could see Tampa Bay. Um, let's see, the Dolly Museum is right over there. And then Albert Witted Airport is right over there. And you could just see downstairs. Um, we get a lot of morning light, which is great. And then backing up, this is my bed. So I have these shells I had last year, the bedding is exactly the same, except for this blanket that I bought. And I had, I, I DIY'd these prints, um, which I really like. And then I have this thing, which I found last year during a move-in, so it's kind of like a sentimental piece. And then I have this empty area, which I'm gonna try to fill. And then we're moving on to right here. Um, this is kind of empty for right now, but I have plants and this tote bag. And this is my closet and my hats and shoes and laundry. And that's pretty much it. So for the closet, I still have to hang my pressure rod and then put my curtain over because I hate having an open closet because I don't like the fact that I can see all my clothes and it feels really cluttered. 
So I'm going to do that um, when my roommate Erin gets back. She moved in today, but I don't know where she's right now. But I feel like I should show you guys the bathroom. Okay, we'll do that. This is like a bunch of Erin stuff. And then this is our bathroom. Last year we had the split bathroom. Now we have the big one. So you're going to walk in to the right. We have our little trash can. You can hang your towels. The worst part about this bathroom is that the split bathroom has cabinets underneath and this one doesn't, like for no reason I feel like. But yes, I have my stuff on this side. Toilet, plunger stuff, this thing. And then I have this that I built yesterday or the day before. And I was originally going to put it here, but this bottom rod, I would have to like screw it in like from underneath the toilet and I was like, I'm just not about to unscrew it and screw it again. So it's right there. So I have all my stuff on it and I'm gonna make room if Erin wants to put her stuff on it, but I think she might have something else. And this is our shower. Same curtain as last year, just a new liner. And I hung this up to hang any towels on. And maybe we can put like, I have like some random art we can put here, but yeah. That is pretty much everything. That's my dorm. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely want to do another video. Um, um, just showing the living room. Alright. Bye, you guys.